we have a first look of a new game that's 20 minutes till dawn, a game by Flan. Shout out to Flan for allowing us to do this kind of thing. Uh, for those who haven't seen this game, this is what we like to call bullet heaven around here. Some people call this arena shooters, um, roguelite survival. These have all kinds of different names to them. It's basically you versus the hordes, and then you have to get a busted build. And you have X amount of time to get through the run or else you're going to die. Um, this game has multiple characters. We have Hina-sama, Scarlet, Diamond, Shauna. There's other unlockables, Spark, Lilith, Abby. Different weapons you could choose from. Revolver, Shoddy, Crossbow, Flame Cannon, Dual SMGs, like Guns Reborn, Bat Gun, Grenade Launcher. Um, for us to give like a quick start, we'll do the base character to kind of like show you all what the game is basically like. And then just hop in. Um, there's two modes you can play. There is standard mode that has a 20 minute survival. The game's called 20 minutes till dawn. But then they have a quick play mode too. If you don't have 20 minutes, if you got a game of Fortnite waiting and you're just waiting on the squad to log in, you can do quick play. And then play some more quick play while you're in the queue. Yo, Anzia, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for that build. So just like any of the other arena shooters, roguelite survival games, it starts off very simple. You have a basic zombie. But if you look at the difference in this game, there's actual aiming. There's actual work that has to be done compared to all the other games out there that use kind of like an auto fire system. Um, though there's enough power ups in this game where you can find a build that, you know, might be auto fire, might be summons, might be anything. We have choices similar to another one of our favorite games that escapes my mind, Nova Drift. Uh, where you have unlocks, but then the unlocks are part of their own tree. Uh, so what we're going to take is... I kind of like the move speed. Magic Lens can be good too. Bullets that pass through it deal b -b bonus damage. Bonuses increase by your summon damage. Let's try it. So now whenever I shoot through the bubble, it does better. You don't always have to shoot through it though. It's just there. Anytime you can get it, it's worth. This game also has an ascension system. So like as you play through the game, it gets better and better. Um, igniting lens, shots through the lens burn. Uh, bullet damage and knockback. Ghosty goo. Ghost friend that shoots piercing bullets. And you can buff it. So Ghosty Goo has summon damage on it. And our thing is buffed with summon damage. So we're actually going to take this. And once we get level 2 Ghosty Goo. It will actually level up my basic shot going through the shield. Alright, it's getting a little dicey. Okay, so this has the summon damage on it, attack speed. Your ghost friend now shoots where you aim. Uh, bullets that pass through the lens gain bonus bounces. Okay, okay, I think you get in sync first and then the bounce tech could actually be incredible. So my basic attack does 20, but when I go through the shield, it does 29. See, I'm not even like really trying to get the shield every time. It's just a b -b bonus. Is this PC only? I believe that did, that did just release to Steam right now. Uh, are there plans for more? I don't know, but I can certainly uh, check with the dev team at some point. We'll just do basic bullet damage. See if we can get some chonky damage going.
Now, what's funny is that this game genre is huge right now. Like, there's a lot of games that have this basic concept, and it's kind of like a battle of who has, like, the coolest version. Um, I don't know what that is. You all might figure it out on your own time. Uh, let's get weaponry, because it's a summon. Yo, the dagger. That's Katarina's Q right there. Holy crap, that thing... <laughs> Wait, it's still going. How, how many enemies could it kill? So I have a little bit of hours in this game. Maybe, like, a good three hours. And I certainly don't remember the dagger being that good. Um, some of the magic scythe that orbits you. Magic scythe deals as much damage as your bullets. Um, oh, here's the refraction. So we want this now. Because I think the bounce is going to be sick. So now, like, I have even more incentive to actually shoot into the, uh, the thingy. get this XP. But like I said, this game is unique because you as the player have to actually do stuff compared to a lot of the other games that are just automatic. Um, summon damage up that still buffs us. But maybe double shot? Double shot through the shield, double bouncing. I feel like that has to be good. You haven't played any of these games yet? Any recommendations to jump in? So I think a lot of them have demos. This one, 10 minutes till dawn, was a demo. I'm not sure if it's still available um, now that they have this release. Uh, but the 10 minutes version was a very good demo. Oh yeah, that bounce is real good. Oh, we gotta watch the self-destruct. All right, we have an elite. Um, I would say, and this isn't like a hashtag ad or anything like that. So far, my favorite versions of this game has been this one. And another one that I haven't played yet, but um, I trust my buddies who have played it. Brotato is another good one. Um, Fire Rate. Pyromage. Dragon Egg is a summon, but it takes three seconds. I mean, three minutes to hatch. I'm gonna do a reroll. Bullet speed, glare, haste. Alright. That's gonna help us get to the XP faster. Oh, thread the needle. Alright. Shauna Specialized, triple the effect of the next upgrade you take. Wow. That sounds busted. So triple the effect of your next upgrade. So if I get sharpened, or your ghost friend, this is probably better because it's it's still a lot of damage for your summon. Shoots two additional projectiles. I wonder if that actually gives me six projectiles. I feel like the answer is probably no. But there's one way to find out. Oh my god! <laughs> the little boo! I, I did not think it was going to be that good. I'm actually surprised. Devs. Um, fire an additional bullet behind you. Bullets explode. Dealing damage. Bullets can freeze. We'll take the explosion. Could probably reroll too. Oh my god. You might be saying, V, you said you have some hours in this game. Do you have any wins yet? The answer is no. I have not won a single game. 
You may be looking at the build and thinking, V, how on earth have you not won? This looks busted. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> I just suck. But maybe... I, I was only doing it offline. So maybe the secret is we had to stream the game. So the only kind of bad part about this build is now the XP is all over the place. Like, I used to have contained areas that I could just go and find the XP. Shoot, I might have to take Magnetism. I don't really want Blazing Speed. I'd rather have the other speed upgrade. Milk the streamer luck? Yeah, I, I've been doing it wrong the whole time. Okay, new boss. The boss is no match for Boozette. Oh wow, I I actually killed it relatively quickly. <laughs> Move speed up, Tome of Power, Bullet Damage, Bullet Speed. No, oh, Bullet Size, Piercation, Fire Rate, Max HP down. So those both have Max HP down. Fire rate up, spread up. Damage down, I don't think we can do damage down. But triple your base max ammo. 18 bullets. At high speed, going through the actual eyeball. And we don't lose max HP. Pierce? 100% bullet size? Yo, chicken soup, no noodles. Good to see you. I don't like the idea of minus bullet speed. And I think Tome of Speed is a little... Actually... Wait, did it do it? So I actually think this is legit because the boo is just killing everything for me. I'm having a little bit of issues with my uh, keyboard. Like all of a sudden she won't move. I think I might have to disconnect my controller or something. As I said, this game has been out for a week, I think. I think it has positive reviews right now. Summon damage up. Still don't have the move speed I want. Bullets that pierce. Bullets that pass through the magic lens do burn. What's the final upgrade on this? All effects of your magic lens is doubled, but the size is halved? I, I don't know if I want that. Let's just focus on the boo. And Katarina's Q. Bouncing blades. Oh, give me all of this. Now there will reach a point <laughs> where... Yeah, stuff is starting to shoot at me now. So I, I can't just play for free. I do have to actually play the game. I know, I know, feels bad. Imagine having to actually play the game. Oh, look at all this. Good eats. Simple color scheme, by the way. White, good. Red, bad. Unless it's my red. My red is good, their red is bad. Um, gray is also kinda bad. Pickup range up. Every XP pickup has a 10% chance to refill your ammo. We don't want lightning. Shoot behind you. We don't want that. I don't think we want glare either. What a handsome streamer. Yo, thank you for that. I feel so much better. I looked at TikTok 
with the camera on and it looked god awful so i was like okay i ain't doing this but thank you thrillbo second month one more month you'll be a balanced blade oh i i just skipped walk speed up that was a mistake little baby misplay okay so these have to go Yeah, see how I'm not moving? There's definitely something up with my control scheme. I'm holding W. I'm a W gamer. But she's standing still. But like, I don't really feel like taking out my uh, controller right now. I, I won't play controller. I've I've never had this issue before. I think it's because I am I was playing with a controller earlier and now I'm not. Okay, so this is what we want. Run and gun. This is like mandatory with this move speed we have right now. That allows us to shoot at like max speed. If you look at this. Now we like never stop. Now we can kinda like play the actual lens. Like, I can dance around the enemies. And every shot is lensified. As long as we're getting XP. As you can see, everything's dying very, very far from me. Wait. Where'd all these monsters come from? Uh, summon attack speed up. When shooting your last ammo, do extra stuff. Watch and learn. Pick up range, vision range. We're missing the upgrade to the bouncing blades. Reload up, max ammo up. All right, we're gonna do this. Ghosty Goo is really strong right now. Oh my god. Just follow the ghosties. The ghost knows what to do. Yo, Amar, good to see you. Um, If I could get the scythe. Okay, here we go. Summon the magic scythe that orbits around you. Magic scythe deals as much damage as your bullets. So now we have the blender. That's our protection and bouncing blade is still out there. Oh my God. V, how could you possibly say you've never beaten a single run in this game? It's a max HP. Ghosties. Tier S. Five times the bullets, five times the pogs. With the bounce? Oh my god, we need pickup range here. Um, Anger point. Increase bullet damage and fire rate by 50% when you get hit. We're probably not going to do that. Um, increase bullet damage for one second after reloading. And I'm pretty sure my scythe is going to get buffed by this. The scythe does damage based on your, um... Weapon damage. So every time I reload, the scythe is just better. It's just built better. Oh my god, there's so much XP. <laughs> Look at all this. There's XP just lying around everywhere. Dull, double, double. If not more. I'm only 10 minutes in. This build is looking like a 18 minute build. How in the world am I only 10 minutes? 
Now you all could probably figure out how I die in this game. Uh, fire rate? We probably want the fire rate. Because that lets us reload more often. And reloading just buffs my damage even more. And that also allows me to utilize the lens better. We just built better. Yo, have an awesome day! Appreciate that. That's the, uh... Oh my god, you can't <laughs> AFK in this game. 15 months? Definitely happy to hear you're enjoying stuff. Okay, hang on, hang on. Let me unplug my controller. Because it is actually struggling right now with my inputs. Which I've never had an issue with. But then again, I've never played this game right after playing Dead Cells. Or Skull or something. Uh, rubber bullets, plus one bounce, minus 10% damage. I think that's actually good. Um, the fire? I, I think we want fire eventually, but in terms of prioritization... More bounces. Because then when it goes into the lens... I think it bounces two times. Oh my goodness gracious. Level 22. I don't know what max level is. Okay, the shooters are back. Exploders are back. You see, now it's getting a little dicey. Trying to wrap around for the XP. Ooh. Found an elite. Let me through. Eric Andre. <laughs> Lens? <laughs> Lens mod check. Look at the size of that orb. Holy crap, that thing's massive. I wonder why, what's making the orbs that big? Dang. All right, I got a little cornered there trying to focus on the boss. All right, Pyro Mage, max HP up, character size up, move speed down. Reload up, ammo up. So what are we looking for here? We have ghosties. We have the move speed. We have the reaper. I think in terms of my upgrades, I'm okay with taking this. And this turns into increased reload rate by 5% for every enemy killed. This bonus resets after reloading. So it's like whenever we reload, we get bonus damage and reload rate, I think. I don't know if the elite died. Nope. All right, we can't not get this elite. And I think one thing in this game, and I don't know if that's something that could be uh, fixed or addressed, is when the elite dies, it doesn't actually show the chest position. Oh no, my damage. There's so many. We took two hits. Seven minutes on the clock. Please. Just die. Oh, I got it. I got it. We gotta get in there somehow. Okay, three Halo pieces can now appear as upgrading choices. Collect all three to recover Shauna's Halo. I have no idea what that is. Oh 
no idea. I'm trying to punch a hole. I can't move. Uh, kill clip. Increase reload rate. I actually can't move. <laughs> Let me out! Okay, so we gotta level up. I don't know where we dropped in scaling. I think the issue is that, so we have magic lens. That's giving us the damage buff, which is good. But the amount of monsters on the screen, like I can't possibly lens all of them. They're too fast, too big, too many. The reload rate's really good though. So like, <laughs> I'm moving an inch at a time. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm trying to play the lens as much as possible. All right, we gotta move. Five minutes. I feel like I haven't leveled in so long. Um, there is meta progression in this game as well. Simple stuff like increase uh, reload speed and do a lot of other things. There's a boss. How in the world is there a boss? <laughs> Toho now? We found the Toho. 1 HP. The Exploders are a problem. Oh my god, it spawned the laser on top of my body. <laughs> oh, I was at 1534. I thought I had that. But we definitely, we fell off. We didn't get enough XP towards the end. That was cool though. As I said, there is meta progression. I'm going to show you all what that looks like. So I got a lot of currency here. Each character costs like 3k, so I can unlock two characters if I want. I can unlock two guns. Like in one run, I could unlock two characters or two guns. Um, but there's also this stuff here. Um, and a lot of these are only 1350. It gets, you know, more expensive as you go down. So I can do, for example, vision range and pickup range. As you see, I, I ran out of XP. So having, what's that, 15% pickup range is pretty nice. You can get chance to freeze. Fire rate, re reload rate, <laughs> reload rate. Say that five times fast. Summon damage. Imagine if we had the summon damage. But yo, that was sick. And again, if you enjoyed the game, the game is only $3 on Steam. And I think the demo might still be available. People are trying to figure that out.